Hi guys. Okay, we're back to our Magic Treehouse book. We are on chapter eight. We only have three more chapters left, including this one. And then I have three different books that we can choose from for our next one. And I'm gonna let you guys vote on it. And I'll send it out later this week and we can decide what book we're gonna start next week. I'm really excited about it. Okay, but for now, let's get back. Take a second, pause this video and think about what has happened so far in the book. Where did it start and where are we now? I want you to think about retelling, practice your five finger retell. I also want you to think about what the problem is and what solutions we might have started to discover or what you think the solution will be. I also want you to think about who the main characters are and um, make a prediction for what's gonna happen next. So we're gonna read chapter eight, A Giant Shadow. Jack jumped behind the magnolia tree. His heart was beating so fast he could hardly think. He peeked out at the giant monster. The horrible looking creature was opening and closing its huge jaws. Its teeth were as big as steak knives. Don't panic, thought Jack. Think. He peered down at the valley. Oh, good. The duckbill dinosaurs were sticking close to their nests. Jack looked back at the tyrannosaurus. Good. The monster still didn't seem to know that he was there. Don't panic. Think, think, think. Maybe there's some information in the book. Jack opened the dinosaur book. He found Tyrannosaurus Rex and he read, Tyrannosaurus Rex was one of the largest meat-eating land animals of all time. If it were alive today, it could eat a human in one bite. Oh, great, thought Jack. The book was no help at all. Jack tried to think clearly. He couldn't hide on the other side of the hill. The Antosaurus's might stampede. He couldn't run to the treehouse. The Tyrannosaurus might run faster. Maybe he should just wait for the monster to leave. Jack peeked around the tree. The Tyrannosaurus had wandered closer to the hill. Something caught Jack's eye. Annie was wandering or was coming down the rope. I think that if I were keeping track of the character traits, I might put Brave next to Annie. Is she nuts? What is she doing? Jack wondered. Jack watched Annie hop off the ladder. Annie hurried over to the Pteranodon. She was talking to him and flapping her arms. She pointed at Jack, at the sky, and at the treehouse. She's nuts, Jack thought. Go, go back up in the tree, he whispered, go. Jack heard a roar. And the Tyrannosaurus Rex was looking in his direction. Jack hit the ground. The Tyrannosaurus Rex was coming toward the hill. Jack felt the ground shaking. What do I do? Should I run, crawl back in a dinosaur valley, climb the magnolia tree? But suddenly, a giant shadow covered Jack. He looked up. The Pteranodon was gliding overhead. The giant creature sailed toward the top of the hill. He was heading toward Jack. Okay, friends, we have two chapters left. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.